How's it going everyone? My name is Brett. Welcome back to Genshin Impact and today we are doing something a little bit different. I have my grandmother right here. Say hello. Hello. Hey. So uh, so normally I don't really bring my family members into my videos because it's usually like a single player thing. But you know this, this is a rare occasion. So my grandma... My, okay, okay so uh, how much do you actually know about Genshin Impact? I know it's got a floaty little girl in it. Yes, her name is Paimon. That's what I know. She likes to eat. She likes to talk. Yes. That's and, what I and, know. And she get she could get a little annoying uh, and get a, 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 under a lot of people's skin. Uh, yeah, yeah. All that right. much I know. All right. And yeah, so we're going to do a character reaction. Now, there are other videos on YouTube that showed, you know, famous YouTubers like their mom or their dad or their significant loved ones to the various characters that Genshin Impact has to offer. And, well, they're pretty funny, you know, the... You know, the, the reactor, you know, says some pretty funny stuff, and, like, you, you know, the pro player is like, wait, what? <laughs> so, yeah, um, so here we are. So, we're gonna start with Lumin, the main character. So, uh, so, um, how, how exactly do you want to play this game? Like, do you want to guess their element or their weapon or uh, what they do for uh, a living? Well, she's a princess. Mm, I guess. Kinda. Kinda. I mean, she's definitely dressed like one. Yeah. She, she's got more clothes on than some of the other ones, so I like her. All right. Cool. So, That's all I know. Uh, what, what, do you think she, what do you think the type of weapon she is? A sword. A sword, yes. She is a sword wielder. So there are five weapons. Sword, claymore, polearm, catalyst, and bow. Okay, I know the bow and the sword. I don't know what the others are. Okay, so, so a catalyst is like, uh, like a book or a, an orb that, that, that they use for, for spell casting. Okay, mm-hmm. Okay, and you said you don't know a claymore? Okay, so it's pretty much like a bigger sword. Uh, okay. A big, heavy sword. Okay. Okay. <sighs> and, and so, with Lumine's case, uh, she's what you call the Avatar. You, you, you know the Avatar, the last airbender? Mm -hmm, mm hmm You know, the Avatar pretty much manipulates all the elements? Yeah. Well, Lumine she is pretty much the Avatar. Oh, cool. So, right now, she can only use four elements because the other three are not available right now. So, she can do wind, earth... Electro and Dendro, which is pretty much like plant, plant life. Okay, good deal. So right now she's uh, Dendro, which is why the background is green and why she has a little bit of green on her. Okay, see it, yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, so uh, yeah, so that's pretty much Lumine. So wh what do you think Lumine actually does? She yawns a lot. <sighs> okay, well that's obvious, but like what does she do on her adventures? Just take a wild guess. Well, she's got a sword. She fights people. Yes, she's a fighter. Okay. And is she fighting for justice throughout the world? She's looking for a brother. Oh, that's almost justice. And a uh, fun fact, you can actually be the brother. Like, at the beginning of the game, you can choose to be the, the brother or the sister. And then the other one pretty much becomes, you know, your your finder. Mm -hmm, gotcha. All right. So, yeah, that, that, that was what I mean. So, let's, uh, hold on, let's go to the, to the other page. Yeah, we, we want to go to character archive because this will show us all the characters. Because while I do not own all the characters, you can see like some of them are grayed out, so those are the ones I don't own. Okay, gotcha. So we're gonna start with Amber. So okay. this is Amber. Okay, she she's hmm. does she use a gun? Uh, no. Okay. I mean, there are guns, but those are reserved to the Fatui agents. Okay. Well, well, she she looks like she she she's ready for fun and and, and some business. Yes, she she is definitely a fun character. Cool. So, what do you think her element and her weapon is? Fire? Yes. <laughs> and you say, I, you say it's not a gun? No, no gun. That's close. It's close to a gun? And she, she uses a bow. She, okay, a bow, okay. I, I think we should drop the whole uh, guessing their element and weapon because that would take a little bit longer. Yeah, because I, I, all I can do is look at them and guess. And, mm. and plus you can probably tell like what element they are with their little vision. Mm -hmm. You know, like on her hip, she has a little red red gem. That's her fire vision. Cool. All right. Does, is she an avatar? Uh, no. Okay. She, she is purely fire. Okay. Like Lu Lumine or Aether, the, the brother, they're the only ones that can manipulate all the elements. Gotcha. Okay. So everyone everyone else, you know, they, they only have one element. And and, and is this, this thing that she's pitching up and down, is, is, that a, is that a stuffed toy or is that a pet? A uh, stuffed toy that is filled with a bomb. Okay. okay. Yeah, she she literally chucks at enemies and it, and it taunts them and explodes. Well, that's kind of mean. <laughs> Wait until we get to Klee. Okay, all right. Hmm. 
Mm. Uh, anyway, so what do you think she does for a living? She she looks out at all spaces. I don't know what she does. Okay, so she's what you call an outrider for the Knights of Avonius, which are pretty much like, uh, I guess, a government of Mondstadt. That's one of the, the regions. Okay, how many regions are there? Uh, so far there are four. <laughs> the fifth one is coming out soon. Mm. And 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 our, and our main girl, Lumine. Uh, she's not from this world. Okay, got it. You could say okay. she's an alien. Okay. Even though she looks human. They're going to deport her. <laughs> uh, you're 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 onto something with that. Poor baby. Okay. Uh, so uh, is that all for Amber? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next is Kaya. What do you think? Uh, so he wields a sword. He wields a sword. He looks darn good. Mm-hmm. You, you could say it's sexy. I would say so. I mean, you can see a little bit of his chest. Yeah, he he, he likes to show off a little. Mm -hmm. What's what's going on with his eye? Oh, that uh, he he inher he inherited that. He yeah he inherited his eye patch from his grandfather. Okay. Or claims that he inherited it. Okay. So he wears it whether he needs it or not. Yeah. Okay, got it. All right, and he's cryo with his little cryo vision, which is ice. Got it. Mhm. Mm All right. So what do you think he does for a living? He ices people. Other than that, like his profession. Bodyguard. Mm. Knight of the Realm. I mean, there is a bodyguard in this character, but we'll get, get to her later. Okay. So what does he do? Okay, he is a cavalry captain. Okay, that was kind of close, yeah. So yeah, he's a captain of the Knights of Avonius. Okay. All right. So, that, that it? All right, cool. So next is Lisa. So, fun fact, this is actually her alternate costume. This is not her default costume. This is her her costume when she went to the academia, which is pretty much college. Okay. So she's definitely smart. She's a librarian. She looks very sweet. Mm-hmm. So d does she fight? Uh, yeah. Yeah, she's a callus, which means she, like, zaps people with her elect electric powers. Okay. So she doesn't wield a weapon. She is the weapon. Basically, yeah. <sighs> okay, got it. Okay. I like her. Mm-hmm. Uh, she could de she could definitely be on the um how can I say it the mommy side, mm -hmm. you know the ada ada. I mean I'm not sure if these terms are gonna get no. Okay, okay not. So, so are we moving on. Mm -hmm. All right, next is Barbara. She's a little girl. I wonder mm -hmm. when I'll be so as she's tall hydro, as my big which water. sister. How would you know that? Uh, again, uh, blue gem. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. So what what do, what do you think she does? She looks cute. She stands around looking cute. What does she do? Uh, she works at the church. Oh, they have a church? Yes. What does she do? Also just dance and sing. You can say she's an she's a idol. She's an idol in the church? Yeah. What kind of church is this? I don't know. Okay, alright, just wondering. So that, that, that's why she's got the, the kind of hat she's got on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're we're going to see another character that also works at the church. Which, you know, she'll probably not I look like this. I wonder when I'll be as tall as my okay. big so next, sister. Okay, so next is Razor. He works in the church? No. Okay, <laughs> all right, okay. Okay, so he's green and brown. Does that mean he's earthy? No. Well, how do you tell what they are? Uh, they, they also have, like, a little symbol next to them. So that, that, that purple symbol means they're electric. Where do I see the purple symbol? Uh, let's see here. Uh, I believe, yep, it's on his back. Oh, well, I knew that. Okay. <laughs> totally not. And what does he do? Uh, he's a, I guess you could say he's a wolf boy. You say wolf? Yeah, wolf boy. Yeah, he, he, he spent most of his life out in the wilderness okay. with wolves. Uh, yep, there, there's one of his wolf buddies. Cool. Yeah, very electric. And so, so they're, they're, they, they bonded spiritually. So yeah, something like that. Okay, got it. All right, so next. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, next is Shangling. Okay. And she's fired. Yes. And she likes to eat. Yes. And 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 she, she's a warrior. Yes. You know how I know she's a warrior? Because she has a spear. No, because she has virtually no clothes on. <laughs> uh, so she's a she's a chef. She loves cooking. Okay. She also has this little uh, bear thing called Gwoba. And that that's a stuffed bear. That's not a light. Yeah, that's a, that's a real bear. That's a real bear. Real bear. Is who, it a spirit? Who, is it a spirit bear or a real bear? He's he actually was one of the gods. He's a god bear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think the stove god. Yeah, stove god. Uh huh. Yeah. I I I, I don't know what's what's with that as well. So yeah. Okay. Okay. 
I mean, there was a whole event, but I missed it. Anyway, so next is Beto. She's all brown. Brown, crazy brown. Well, I, I, I mean, see brown I, all I, over her clothes. I mean, if you're talking like her hair, then sure, like dark no, brown. But most of her clothes are brown. Brown with a little red. It looks more like black. Was that black? Okay. I'll and take and a little it. bit of purple, but like mostly like I guess maroon. Uh huh. Rich. Yeah. If you ever want to trade tactics, and, 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 I'm always and, ready. And, she, and she's a, she's a warrior. Mm hmm. And did she inherit her eye patch? Mm, probably lost in battle. Okay, got it. Yeah. You, you, like I said, very little close. She's, okay, so she's it's, so she's a captain of her own ship called the Crux. Okay. What's the deal with with her with the thing in her head? Oh, uh, her her headpiece. Uh huh. I don't know. Okay. Just her style. Okay. Uh, most cool. of these characters have you know accessories yeah. on them for style. Yeah. So next is Sing Cho, or who I like to call Bookworm. I mean, do you think you can guess? He, he works in the library. Uh, no. He works in the church? No. Well, those are the only who works on it. I mean, he likes reading. Not, not, that, that much I know, so me and him don't get along. What does he do? Is, is, is he water? Yeah, he's water. Okay. And what, what does he do? Uh, uh I, think, I think he is in like a, like a rich family, I guess. Okay. So I guess you could say he's a rich boy. Does does he ever fight? Yeah, yeah. All these characters fight. Okay. In one okay. way or another. Okay. Well, he's awfully well dressed up. <laughs> so next. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So next is Ning Wang. That is an outfit to look out for. And what does she do? Uh, I guess you could say she's like, I guess the mayor of of Liyue, which is like China. Okay. D d does does she fight too? Yeah, M mostly just shoot rocks. I, I saw the rocks coming out of her hands. So she makes those materialize out of nowhere. Mm, pretty much. And and what's that in her hand? A pipe. A pipe. I don't, I don't think she actually smokes. Okay. Or if she does, it's probably nothing too lethal. Yeah, and she looks really good. Mm hmm. That shows she's she's very wealthy. She's, yeah. She's she's a businesswoman. Cool. All right. So moving on. Yep. All right. So next is Fischl, and once again, this is her. Sorry, who is this? Fischl. Fischl. Yes, Fish. Fish. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is actually her alternate costume, just like Lisa. This is not her default. Mm -hmm. So I, I got this from a, an event. What's what's her real costume look like? Uh, we we can we can take take a, take a look at that. Uh, hold on, let me see here. Uh, no, no, not inventory. All right. Not really used to playing with uh, mouse and keyboard. Okay, so Fischl, you are. Yeah. I created another universe and founded paradise. For I, Fischl, and Yeah, there you go. This is her default outfit. Okay, I can see that. And and what what what's what's her claim to fame? What does she do? Uh I guess you could say she's an adventurer, but she's what do you call a chinibio. You have no clue what and, it means. It means that she's kinda stuck in her own little world. You know, stuck in La La Land. Which actually became a reality for a brief moment. So she can create realities? Uh, again, only one time. One time. But, that, but that's only because it was caused by a Fatui machine. But do, do, does, does she fight with anybody? Uh, she has a, a companion. Okay, what, what's her companion like? Uh, Oz. Uh, he's like a, um, a raven. Okay. Yeah, she's all about like, I am the dark princess or some crap like that. I see that. Yeah. Okay, so back to the... Her archive. Okay, so next is Bennett. He's a little boy. Yes. Benny's adventure team assemble. D does he know the little girl, uh, Barbara? Does he? Are they friends? Yeah, and Fischl, oh. and pretty much uh, mo oh, a lot of characters. Okay. And and what does he want to be when he grows up? Uh, an, an adventurer. Okay. Oh my goodness! If he gets together with Fischl, they. That would be an interesting combo. Yeah, you could say that a lot of people ship wow. Bennett and Fischl together. I would from? say so. They definitely look cute together. Yeah. So, uh, fun fact about Bennett, he's very unlucky. Oh, well, he shouldn't be with her then. <laughs> He'll get her in trouble. Yeah, he's always getting in trouble, getting caught in traps. Whenever he goes out, it's usually raining. So, very unlucky. Benny's adventure team assemble! Oh, he looks good anyway. Okay. Yeah, do you hear like the wind? Like, uh, -huh. uh yeah, okay, okay, Ben, and no one really cares. Okay, so next is Noelle. 
She looks like a maid. A, a night maid. A night maid. Uh huh. Or at least night maid in training. And that means that she will fight sometime in the future. Yeah, yeah. She's usually cooped up in in on set, you know, cleaning and that kind of stuff. You know, doing nightly or or maidly duties. And what what's on what's on her on her gauntlet? What's what's armor? The the red thing. Uh, oh, roses. Roses. Again, she she is a, a knight, so she's mostly just wearing armor. Okay. And does she come from a wealthy family? Uh, I think so. Cause she's like in training, and, and which is weird. Also, what? also, can you guess her her element? No. No. She, she's earth. You probably you probably couldn't tell by by her color scheme. No. Doesn't exactly strike earth. No. It kind of looks more like fire or something like that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So, yeah. which is which is kind of funny. Like she is. From the land of of Wynn, yet she's Geo, but that that's true to a lot of characters. Like they may be born from a region that's known for one element, but they're actually a different element. Okay, and and how does she react to being a maid? Uh, I guess is she okay with it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, you you could definitely tell she's a hard worker. Yeah. All right. So next is Chung Yun. And he's a magician. Exorcist. Exorcist. Yeah, he he deals like ghosts and ghosts and demons, but most of the time they usually go away from him because he's he's full of pure pure energy, you know, pure light energy. So yeah. it, it, he's pretty much like a big repellent. So that's why he can never really find demons or spirits because they usually run away from him because it's like ah, he's too pure. <laughs> <laughs> is is he eating an ice cream? Uh, yes, he. Well, yeah, he 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 does eat popsicles, but they're flavorless. He he mostly eats them to. Uh, calm, calm his nerves. Okay. And of course, you could probably tell he's ice. Yeah, I like his little balloon pants. Mm hmm. Yeah. Alright, so next, mm -hmm. sucrose. Sugar. <laughs> I'm surprised you know that. <laughs> well, <laughs> sugar. Uh, um, so she's a chemist? Yeah, an alchemist in training. Okay. Uh, like a student. Okay. So normally, when they have, when, when, when their dress is that short, they're. they're they're, they're normally a, a warrior. Is she a warrior yet? Yeah, she she does like shoot when she's callous. Okay. She, so she doesn't actually use a physical mm. weapon. Has she been in battle yet? Um, I guess not uh, officially. Yeah, she she's got the look of being in training, but she she definitely wants to be a warrior. I think. Yeah, she mostly she's usually cooped up in her room doing sciencey stuff. Uh huh. All right. So next. Yeah. All right. Next is Jean. She's the captain of the guard. Yeah, she's pretty much acting grand grandmaster. She 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 projects power. I yeah, like her. Yeah, she is a, a woman of power. Yeah. So uh, the real uh, grandmaster, like the, the the real leader, he's out on a expedition. So she's in charge. Yeah. Excellent. All right. And uh, fun fact, uh, she's actually sister. She's actually sisters with Barbara. See the resemblance. Go one more time. Hi. Yeah, yeah. She's just older. Yeah. Also, uh, one of her idol animations does say. Ma, da, 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 da. Well, let's see if she could do one of her idol animations. I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's definitely a hint that they're sisters. Yeah. I mean, I don't think they like officially announce it, but they they, they do hint it. Yeah. Like Barbara, well, I would say sis. I mean. Grandmaster. So yeah, something, yeah. something like that. Alright, next is Master D Luke. Okay, so he's a he is he a master in the military or is he a master something? I, I call him master because he has like maids and that kind of stuff. He's got maids? Yeah. Like like like, like he has his own winery. Interesting. Yes. And and what does he do in, in in this universe? What does he do? You know Batman? Yeah. He's Batman. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> does he wear a mask? No. Okay. What does he do with this falcon? Uh, I know one of his abilities. He has like a flaming falcon. Okay. To, to scorch all his enemies. So cool. you, you want to know why he's pretty much Batman? No. What? Why? why? Uh, because he sees the Knights of Avonis, which Gene is a part of. Uh, he 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 finds them incompetent. He, he finds Gene incompetent? Well, not necessarily Gene, but the Knights of Knights of Avonius in general. 
Huh. Well, that's awfully arrogant of him. Yeah. And, and one quote he says, like, and compare, compare by the Fatui, weak and conservative. So he, he, he definitely has his own agenda when it comes to saving Mondstadt. Okay, well, Jean needs to talk to him and take him down and watch it, too. <laughs> Alright, next is Chi Chi. One. A, two, a really little girl. Three, mm -hmm. three four, and. And is she um, related to anybody in here? <sighs> uh, she works at Boo Boo Pharmacy. Boo Boo. So, so it's where you go and you get your boo-boos fixed? Yes, pretty much. <laughs> okay. So you want to know why she has those talismans, which are those, yeah, those yeah. papers on her? She's actually a zombie. <sighs> She's kind of acting like her, <sighs> yeah? Yeah, that's why she has to do a lot of stretching because, you know, Rick and Mortis can kick in. <sighs> and she's working in the pharmacy? Yeah. You shouldn't have dead things working in the pharmacy. <laughs> uh, she's also very forgetful. Uh huh. That's why she usually. So she keep... don't poison people working in pharmacy. <laughs> no, no. She usually one, has like a two, a book to, three, to remember things. Three, four, and okay. I'll take your word for it. <sighs> All right. Next is Mona. She's a witch. Mm, I guess. <laughs> what she gotta have? <laughs> She's also poor. <laughs> she poor? <laughs> yeah. Only uh, only one gold. So d does she fight as well? Uh, yeah. mm. I guess. I mean, yeah, she did fight in one or two scenarios. But what is but she? But she she usually she's usually cooped cooped up in her little room. Um, astrology, yeah. She's an astrologist, you yeah. know, looking at the stars. So, so 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 somebody made up all these characters somewhere along the way, and yeah. and, and and they made up a character that they wanted to have cooped up in the room. Is that about right? Mm, more or less, yeah. That's not fair. Somebody should talk to the writer. Mm -hmm. Would you like to be cooped up in your room all the time? Well, she doesn't really have a whole lot of money, and so she's kind of mm -hmm. renting this little area. Well, she needs to get a job making good money. I mean, that's what everyone's telling her. Like, why don't you use your your astrology to make money? But she was like, no, 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 no. I can't simply just use my profession to make money. Well, she's got integrity. <laughs> well, okay. Yes. Yes, integrity. That's the word. All right, so next is Kitchen, which is a character I really want to get, but she... She slips from my hands. How come? Because I, I usually lose my 50-50s to either Chi Chi or D Luke or, or Mona. Again, this is from yeah. from the wishing system that I won't go too deep into. Gotcha. But she will be a character I will get one day. One day. She's she looks she looks cute. Yes, very she cute. She looks like a cat. Ah, those are, those are those are her. That that's um her herself. Yeah. Okay. That's just her hairstyle. And what does she what does she do that you want her so much? Um. She works for Ning Wang. Okay. Now uh, she's a hard worker, kind of a workaholic. Now uh, she she doesn't like procrastinating. Okay. And she's got a very pretty dress on. Yes, very pretty. And she does move like a cat. <laughs> All right. So next, Venti. Yes, Venti. He's from from. Uh, you 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 know. He's, he's, he's a he's a musician. You know, he's a man. Oh, is he, is he not a man? Most people think that he's a, he's a girl. Oh, no, he looks like a guy. Well, he's, he's dressed like a guy. It's, it's, it's the braids that gets people, huh? And mostly because he's voiced by, by an actual woman. I mean, that's usually common when it comes to, like, small smaller boy characters that are voiced by females. Oh, so, so he's, uh, he's like a teenager. Yeah. So, well, he, well, he's sweet. He looks nice. So, uh, you know what he is? He's a leprechaun. He's a god. Really? Yes, the god of wind. And he chose to be a little boy. Yes, the, the, he chose to be to be like this. And play, play good music. Mm hmm He wants people to be happy. Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. You want to know why he's the god of freedom? You, you said air. Didn't you say air? Well, well, he, he he's the god of wind, but he's also the, the god of, of freedom. Okay. The the Animo Archon, yeah. That, that's their official titles, like an Archon. Which means God. Okay. So so why is he the God of Freedom? Uh, because he won in the Archon of War, which is kind of surprising because th this little twerp actually won in a, in a contest to, to become a God. Impressive. Oh, so he, he, wasn't, he, wasn't, he wasn't originally a God. Mm, I, I, yeah, I guess uh, lore-wise he was like a little pixie, but then eventually became stronger and, well, you know, went, went a seat to become, a, to become an Archon. 
But over time, he has become the weakest art comic as well. He's pretty hands off. I can see that. Yeah. So, so if you if if you're if you're a human, you have no shot at being a god. But if you're a pixie, you can be a god. Is, is that right? I mean, t- okay. So technically, his race is called an adeptus, which is kind of like a godlike entity. There's a lot of adeptus out there, okay. but only a select few can be can be called an archon, a la a god. Okay. So so he's he's going to grow and get stronger and and, and different. I mean he's he's pretty powerful. Yeah. But 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 he is definitely considered the weakest because again he's pretty he's pretty lazy because he's pretty hands off. That's why he let his people to do whatever they want because well he is the god of freedom. I like him. Mm-hmm. I like his attitude. Yeah. Cool. Like, you can do whatever you want, as long as you don't hurt people. Oh, okay. give me some wine. He's a drunkard. The little boy's a drunkard? <laughs> yeah, he, the he, little he, boy god? Yeah, he, don't worry, he could, he could take a lot of alcohol. And, and, and don't worry, the people of Monset, uh, you know, the people that actually worship worship him, they, they acknowledge that he does drink wine. They even, like, offer him wine. Dionysus, yeah, okay, got it. Right. So next is Klee, my, my little girl, my daughter. Did you make her? No. I, I just acknowledge her as my daughter because she's just so darn cute. And she's a little girl and she's going to school? Uh, she does work for the Knights of Vivonius. I know. What does she do? Uh, she usually makes bombs. That, that sweet little girl makes bombs? <laughs> yeah, I know. Huh. These bombs so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love her because she's cute, she's red, and she loves bombs. Well, that, that's a good combo. <laughs> and she's got cute hair, too. Yeah, uh, she's actually an elf. You can probably tell from, from the pointy ears. I hadn't noticed. I thought that was part of her hair. Uh, is, she, is she the first elf you've shown me? Huh? Don't is she the first me. elf you've shown me? I think so. Yeah, okay. All right, now I'll know to watch. I, I thought it was all humans and gods. Do you know about elves? I know about elves. In other dimensions, I don't know about elves in this dimension. Okay, so elves are known for having long lifespans, and it's usually bombs. staying so pretty heavy. young even if they're hundreds of years old. But uh, Clea is still re- relatively long. Yeah, relatively young, probably like mm-hmm. nine, ten years old. Okay, but, or at least, she, but, or at least but, in human but, years. but she could look like a little girl for a really long time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she she likes to go fish blasting. That's that's where you kill fish what by bombing them. Yes, got it. It's pretty funny. Yeah, she she's just so fun. Anyway, so next is Diona. Who's it? Now she really looks like a cat. Yes, yeah, she is indeed a cat. <sighs> is she is she really a cat? Yeah. I mean, she's stretched. She has ears and tail, even though they don't exactly match her hair, which is kind of you know an odd choice, but you know it's whatever. Okay. So so she's not quite human. No. Or at least half human. And yeah, she's half human. I like the way she does her hair. And yeah, that little that little bun. Uh huh. But you know what she does? Well, she's a little girl, so she can't do too much, right? Uh, she's a bartender. I can see that. But but ironically, she doesn't like wine. She actually despises wine. Well, that's probably a good thing. Which is why she's bar. on the hunt to destroy the wine industry, and well, D. Luke works at the wine industry, and of course. And Venti loves wine, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she could potentially make you know a number of enemies, but we mostly just run off because well, she I, usually I, makes I, I'm good. Still, I'm good. still a little frustrated with, with Deluke, who doesn't like Jean's business. I mean, they're I mean they're not necessarily enemies. It's just that they they don't necessarily see eye to eye when it comes to dealing with threats outside of their their city. Okay. How, do, how does he handle him outside the city? Again, like Batman, do, do it his own way. Okay, and then uh, she's got her, her military force. Yes. Got it, okay. Uh, but, but yeah, fun fact about Diana, uh, even though she hates alcohol, uh, she does make good alcohol, unironically. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, that. she does, like, like, even though she tries to make the most disgusting cocktail, it still comes out deliciously. Like, I don't know how. Like, she could poop in it and it'll still be amazing. Well, hopefully she doesn't do that. Uh, I mean, obviously I just... Yeah, anyway. So next is Tartaglia. Tartaglia. He also goes by child with an E. Okay. And he's... He's military. Yes. He works for the, the Fatui. Okay. And he, and he does something with water. Yes, he's water. You can tell by his little water gem. Yeah. 
you probably wouldn't probably tell with the rest of his attire. Yeah. Mostly like red and gray. So so, oh, I like I like mm -hmm. that. That's pretty. Yeah, he 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 mostly uses a bow, but he does use like water blades. So he's pretty okay. flexible when it comes to combat. Do, do, does does he work alone or does does he um, is he like Gene who who orders people around? Mm, yeah, he mostly works works alone, but he does have his own little, uh, I guess companions. Okay. Comrades, yeah. He thinks he's cool. Yeah, he he's definitely full of himself. Yeah. Uh, he likes he likes the thrill of battle. Well, go go. What's what's that in his hair? Uh, that, that that's his mask when he goes into his uh, super mood. Oh okay. What, yeah. what is he, he doing? Super he, mode? he was actually one of our enemies for a while, but then you know we're actually cool with him. Who's we? Uh, us as the characters. Okay, all right. Yeah, okay. like the main character. Yeah. Like he he did almost try to wipe out the entire city, but we're we're cool with him. <laughs> well, he was just starting out then. So he's not necessarily a bad guy, but he's not the nicest guy. You could say he's a bad boy. Yeah. And uh, uh, also the group he's in, the Fatui, he, yeah, they're pretty much the Russians. Okay, so 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 they like war. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely get into to that region once you know we get there, but that'll probably be like another maybe two years at max. Gotcha. Because the next area will be the land of water. Which is, well, that's not where he's from. He's from the land of ice. It's close. Right. So next is Shenyan. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, she's scared of frogs. <clears throat> it's just a weird look. <laughs> well, there was an event where you know, she, she looks like this because she wants to stand out. She definitely does. And, and does she fight as well? Mm. She plays a guitar. <laughs> uh, she's a, a rock and roller. Yeah. Yeah, like three days grace. Well, well. Okay, so with, with, within this universe here, how does she fit in? Uh, does she fit in? Yeah, she's a mu musician. Okay. Yeah, playing does, rock and roll. Does does she friends with somebody? Oh yeah, uh, she's she's friends with a lot of people. <laughs> as long as they're not frogs. <laughs> okay. I do like her outfit. It's weird, but I like it. But you probably tell she's she's fire. You know, look, you know, red and tan. No, they've been red before, and they they weren't fire, so I wouldn't have known. Okay. Anyway, so next is Zhongli. Not to be not to be confused with Shangli. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Yeah, he says that a lot. Is he a philosopher? Ah, uh, you can say he has years of experience. Okay, so. Is he into wine? Um, more like into tea. Tea. The finest tea. The fine. Okay. You could you could say he's a man of culture, a fine taste. And what's this thing flying around him? Uh, that's his uh, geo meteor that he drops onto his enemies. So he's Earth. Yes. It looked like it looked very fiery. Also, he's a god. Oh, he's a god. That's why I say he has years of experience. Osmanthus wine okay. tastes the same did, as his, I remember. Was he always a god, or did he? Yeah, he actually retires. Who share the memory? You can retire from being a god. He actually fakes his. He actually fakes his own death. Interesting universe we have here. <laughs> the, he, he's actually the oldest. I think he's like six thousand years old. Yeah, so he can come out of retirement anytime he wants to. Yeah, yeah. He, he was like, eh, I've been spending thousands of years looking out for my city. I, I'm sure they can handle themselves. So, so I guess you could say he's kind of like venting, you know, pretty hands off. Yeah. Okay. But you know, this is this is recently. He just wants to spend the rest of his life, the rest of his life as a human. But you know, he does step in Osmanthus once in a while. wine tastes the same as I remember. I think he would look good, really good with Jean too. Right. So next is Albedo. <clears throat> and she does what? Wait, wait, wait! What you said? What does she do? He. <clears throat> Okay, it's a he. Yeah, yeah. I guess I guess you're not you're not the only person who thought that Albedo was a girl as well. I mean, it's kind of funny. Like, you, like you 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 quickly acknowledge that that Venti was a boy, but not Albedo. They gave him really pretty eyes. And and and, and hair. And hair. Yeah. And and, and a delicate way to move. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it, anyway. So uh, is, is he water? Uh, no. 
What, is, what does he do? Earth. How, how do you know that? Again, his little gem on his, on his neck. Okay. I, I know it's kind of small, but it's there. Okay, and why is he riding on a pad? Uh, he's an artist. Oh, okay. He's also a chief alchemist, mm -hmm. so you could say he's Sucrose's uh, teacher. Okay. So he's, he's a very calm and collective guy. He mostly spends his time on um, uh, the the outside. The ice mountains. Uh, I, 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 I forgot what it's called again. Okay. So okay, dragon spine. Yeah, that's so, the the ice mountain. So he was just holding that twig and it and it and it grew. So yeah, alchemy, alchemy, which means you know creating life out of nothing. Got it. Okay. Yeah, pretty cool guy. And and, and and he fights as well. Yeah, he uses a sword. <laughs> okay. All right. But he usually spends his time drawing or doing alchemy stuff. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So next is Ganyu. She does something with air or water or ice. Ice. Okay. And she's a fighter because she's wearing virtually no clothes. <laughs> right? Yes, the less clothes means that they're a fighter. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Uh, the logic. Anyway. Okay. So uh, can you tell her her horns? Yeah, I saw her horns. So <laughs> she's an adept an adeptus or half adeptus. <laughs> okay. So you can say she's a half god. <laughs> so can from being a half god, can she grow into a full god? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Well, let me know one of these days when when, it, when something happens. Uh, so you know her her profession. I didn't know gods had professions. Well, half gods. I didn't and, even and know. And we'll half see another god. one soon. Okay. Uh, it is. Um, I have no clue. No, she also works for Ning Wang. <laughs> another, you know, workaholic. And she also, you know, do dozes off because she spends long nights working. So, if, th if this is a game and somebody created it, why do they want people to work so hard that they, that they, that they, that they fall asleep? Relatability? Okay, okay. I, mean, I know I work lo lots of hours just playing my games. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I can I can take that. So, uh, so she's actually a fan favorite for two reasons. Okay, sleeping. I mean, you can probably see them. Are we talking chest? Yes. I've seen better <laughs> already. Well, well, a lot of people call her the Coco Goat. Oh. Uh -huh. so, okay. so, so obviously, a lot of thirsty players out there, you know, milking those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the the, the the Genshin community. The, yeah, the Genshin community could definitely be a thirsty community. Okay, got it. Anyway, so what, what, anyway, moving on, moving on. So, <laughs> so Zhao. So what does he do first? Uh, you could say he's a, a demon hunter. Okay. And and he does it with a sword. A spear. Spear. Okay, that's close. Yes, he's, he's also win. I see that because he's kind of moving. And a little bit of green on him. Yeah. Yeah, I believe his vision's on his uh, left arm. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Okay. So has he done anything special? Uh, he's been fighting for a long time, fighting demons, collecting karma. Oh, you can collect karma. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. He, 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 specifically, he's a yaksha. Which is pretty much like a warrior. Okay. Yeah, I, I believe he's like the last of the yakshas because the rest, of, the rest of the yakshas were either killed or vanished. So he pretty much had to fight a lot of demons on his own while also suffering, you know, karma. So, so he he's pre he pretty much has a lot of baggage on him. Poor baby. Yeah, he, he's going through a lot of in, um, interior um, pain. Okay. Is he going to keep doing that, or are they going to let him yeah, out? Yeah, yeah. This is this is this is pretty much his contract. Okay, all right. He's oh yeah, I, I kind of forgot about Zhongli. He's actually the god of contracts. I thought he was a kind of hands off god. But, but but until he retired. Okay, got it. Okay, all right. But yeah, but yeah, Zhao definitely made a contract with Zhongli to continue fighting fighting for him. Well, maybe he can negotiate his way out of it. I mean, I mean, 
you can't necessarily break a contract. Like, 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 if the contract is not followed, then it is broken. His words, not mine. That's just mean. I mean I'm sure there's like a contract to end said contract, but anyway. So next uh, is Hu Tao. Huh? She looks very steampunk. And what is that? A ghost. <laughs> so she plays with ghosts? Toodaloo. Uh, yeah, she does deal with some spiritual stuff. Okay. So what else does she do? Cause she, she's really she, dressed weird. She, she's a funeral parlor. I can see that. Yep. Yeah. Silly churl, Billy churl, silly Billy hilly churl. Ooh. Yeah, she, she can be fun, even though she's a little on her nose when it comes to, ooh, uh, is someone, does someone died? <laughs> well, that's this, is, job. this is booming. Yeah, I can see that. I could give you a 50% discount on your coffin. A little, a little morbid. Yeah. <laughs> but but no, she she's a good she's a good character. Toodaloo. Even even if she is a little on the nose of her business. Yeah. I mean, can you can you can you tell what her element is? No. Fire. Silly churl. Like, again, it's on her back. Churl, silly Make a turn. Okay. Okay. There it is. There it is. Okay. All right. I'm with you now. She looks really good from the back. Mm-hmm. Alright, so next is Rosaria. She's a nun. She works for Barbara. She's a nun? I know, with that outfit. And this is her censored outfit. Okay. You, sh you should have seen the fish leg. I can, I can imagine. Yeah, the fish fishnet legs. So th this is why the church is so weird. <laughs> and, and hers is fire? Uh, ice. Ice. Yeah, I believe her vision is somewhere on her, uh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. I love her. And again, this is her censored version, which means, you know, no, no fishnet legs or, or that kind of stuff. Yeah, this is why I'm saying I'm, I'm not seeing why the other girl was was so known for her knockers because hers aren't bad. Yeah, yeah, she, she was actually a lot bigger. It just but, didn't but, show but, up in the picture. But they just nerfed her. Okay. Yeah, I like her. All right. So next is Yanfei, who is also a, a half god. Why are all the half gods babies? <laughs> mm -hmm. And what is she doing? I guess she was weighing weighing that jade. Does she make judgments on people? What, what is uh, she she's doing? a lawyer. Aha. Okay. Do, does she win? Hmm. Yeah, she usually wins all her arguments. Is she in the library a lot? Uh, uh, well, obviously she has, she has to read a lot to learn the law. Yeah. I like her. Mm-hmm. She, she's, she's definitely one of my favorites. Yeah. She's also fire, if you can tell. You know, mm -hmm. mostly from the red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks like she's used to winning. <laughs> yeah. All right, so next. <laughs> All right, Yula. Definitely a warrior. Uh, ice? Yes, ice. And how, how is she related to somebody in here? Uh, she works for the Knights of Avonius. Okay. I, I, I do like whatever that is going on on the upper part of her leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's very pretty, very elegant. Yes. Uh, does she come from a rich family? Uh, she actually came from uh, an aristoc aristocratic family, mm -hmm. which were once rulers of Monset. They... You know, not not exactly a good good family. They try to normalize slavery. So she's a descendant of that family, which you know a lot of people despise the Lawrence clan. Yeah. But you know, she tried to cope cope with it by doing some kind of uh, act of vengeance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she goes on this huge spiel like, "Vengeance will be mine. Mark my words." <laughs> but she's a nice character. Okay. She she's got family to deal with. Yeah. Uh, she, she she also spends a lot of time dancing. I can see that too. She she's got a dancer. Uh, you, you can see her feet moving like a dancer. <laughs> okay, so next is Kazuha. You don't have her. Him. Him. Okay. Go on. He that, he looks.
looks very feminine. He just does. Can you guess what element he is? I'm, I'm thinking air. You're, you're Wind. right. You're right. I mean, you probably can't tell because of the excessive red. Uh huh. So it looks could be deceiving. That they can. You. It sounds like you're gonna have to tell me girl guy all the way through this darn thing. <laughs> anyway, so he is a a wandering samurai. Does he have a samurai sword? Yeah. Did I, did I just see it and not like, take it? To... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did, we did saw it, him using a sword. Okay, got it. Okay, I just didn't recognize it being samurai, I guess. Yeah, we, we can give, it, give him another second to pull out a sword. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, he, he was actually a fugitive of, of the Inazuma army. Yep, there's a sword. Okay, yeah. so it's not a samurai sword then. Okay. I mean, it kind of depends on what sword you do give him. Yeah. But that, that was like a, a basic sword. Yeah, basic sword. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but he was once a, a fugitive by the, the Shogun army. Mm-hmm. But, you know, we're, we're cool now. Because we d demolished that uh, that decree. So is, is he voiced by a guy or a girl? Guy. Okay, all right. Okay. So moving on. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Next is Ayaka. And this is her alternate costume. Well, she looks very sweet. Yes. She, she's pretty much a princess. To the max. Okay. So she's the, she's the daughter of the Kamisato clan. Does she do anything other than being a daughter? Uh, she's pretty. She's a good fighter. She's okay. really strong. Okay. One of the best DPSs. A blade oh, embraces I like its her duty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's actually that's gems. actually a battle pass sword. The the guy before her should have had a sword like that one. Yeah, because because I didn't because I don't have Kazuha, he just gets a basic sword. Got it. Okay. Well, for Aika, I gave her a battle pass yeah. sword, which is pretty much a paid sword. Excellent. So, throughout the course of this game, is she going to grow up? Is she going to um, evolve? Or do they all stay kind of sort of what, where they are? Yeah, I guess that's an interesting question. Like, this is a live sor live service game, which means it's going to go on for many years. So, we don't know if these characters are going to get up updated of their models or anything like that. Or they're just going to stay like this. Okay. Well, a she's blade sweet. embraces yeah. she's its duty, sword. Mm -hmm. as a jeweler cherishes their gems. Okay. So next is Sayu. Little girl. Mm -hmm. She got? No. Okay. <sighs> Don't worry, she's not, she's not a zombie. Oh, that's good. And she, she seems to be really happy. Mm -hmm. What does she do? Uh, she's a ninja. A ninja? Yes, a very sleepy ninja. Is she good at her job? Yeah. Give or take, depending on if she's feeling it or not. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I like that. She can hide. Mm hmm. And she's not really a good hider because her little leaf uh -huh. on her head kind of gives her position away. All the time. Okay. Well, she's cute. She's sweet. Uh, uh, her, her element is wind and she like curls up, curls up in a ball and just rolls around the area. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. Yeah. It is. <laughs> uh, next is Joy Mia. What, is, 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 just, that, is that the one you were telling me that, that was one of your favorites? Yeah, she's definitely one of my favorites. She's a lot of fun. You know, character wise. She loves fireworks. You know, just 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 a bu <laughs> uh, a bundle of joy. Yeah. So what what is her element? Fire. Again, fireworks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why does she have something that looks like a rope on her back? Is that a bow? Uh, yeah, I think it's like a little bow. Okay. And and yeah, she does have like bandages all over her, not not because she's hurt, but it's it's pretty common for Japanese girls to wear like bandages to, like protect themselves when they're like doing archery and that kind of stuff. Okay. But you can definitely tell she's definitely showing a little bit more skin. Yeah, yeah, she's a warrior. Mm -hmm. So she works at a fireworks shop. Okay. Again, she loves fireworks. She likes playing with the kids. Well, she's, she's so she's kind of a, a cute little girl too, and mm -hmm. underneath all that. Yeah, she's definitely fire. girlfriend material. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, so are we good? Uh huh. Right. So next is Kujo Sara. It, 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 is is she like uh, a commander too? Yeah, she's a general. Yeah, I thought so. And what, what was the thing with her wings on the back? Uh, I think she's um, uh, what do you call them? An angel? No, not an angel. It's definitely related to like a bird. Okay, gotcha. 
So she does a lot with feathers, and she's got her little bird face mm -hmm. mask. So wh why is she into birds? Uh, I, I think it's called a tango. Is it, is it a tango? I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, but yeah, she, she is indeed a general of the Shogun army. Mm -hmm. So she's, she's very loyal, very strict. Yeah. I, 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 I could see if you, if you did something she didn't like, you're in trouble. Yeah. Big trouble. Yeah, especially if you went into her territory without permission. I like that. Pr prote protect your stuff. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so next is the Raiden Shogun, also known as A. So what's her story? She's a god. And she makes her present very well known. Okay. And she's okay with being a god. She's not going to retire. She's not going to sleep through it. She's not going to get drunk I all the way through it. I think she was forced into this position. Because there was... I, I think one of her sister was going to be the role of Archon, but she died. So so she, so does, does this god also fight? Yeah. yeah she, Pretty she, strong. She, very strong. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she actually she actually pulls out a sword out of her chest. Well, when you're a god, you can do that. Yeah. So actually, what you're seeing is just a puppet. So this is a so she can look any way she wants. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I, I, and th that sort that sword I mentioned. Yeah, I think that's where her real her real essence is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she pretty much, uh, I guess, transformed her soul into a sword and put it into this puppet. Okay. She looks a little dreamy. Yeah, she usually she's usually cooped up in her little realm, just meditating. There's a lot of that going on in there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so next. Uh-huh. Okay. Sangro Mio Kokomi. She's so she's so young, is she a god too? I uh, know. Okay. But, but yeah, she's she she is indeed god, but she's actually pretty intelligent. Okay. So she's water? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's one of my favorites. Like I even have like a little squish ball of her. Hold on, give me a second. Okay. Here it is. Oh, that's sweet. Mm. Wow. It looks a little bit like her. Mm-hmm. Hey. So, did you say she was a god? No. No, okay. All right, where did I get that from? Uh, she's a priestess. Okay. So she's in the church. Uh. Maybe not. Hey. I guess so, but they don't really elaborate. On that too much, but she she is a definitely a princess like character. I can see that. So, but if she's a priestess, she can make things happen. Yeah, she she's also, I guess, the leader of a resistance group. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's like guerrilla she, warfare. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. She's a strategist. Mm -hmm. She likes really on military strategy. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So yeah, get <laughs> cute and deadly. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so next, uh -huh. Toma. <laughs> so does he's a fighter? Yes. Does he fight all by himself, or does he fight with, with within the uh, military? Uh, he, he's act, he actually works for Ayaka. Okay. Uh, you could say he's like a a man wife. A what? Uh, a, a, a housemaid. Really? Yeah. He he does he does do a lot of cleaning as well. But he's totally cool with it. It's interesting all these maids being totally cool with it. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't complain. I mean, he's a, he's a really cool character. Really chill, chill guy. Yeah. I like his outfit. Mm-hmm. It's it, and That's why I thought maybe he was a, like in the forest or something. Uh, he was actually raised in Mondstadt. Okay. Which was the the, the city of Wynn. Mm-hmm. Like, like, he was born in pretty much Inazuma slash Japan. But then he... He moved to Monset to be raised there, but then he moved back to to Inazuma. Mm -hmm. I I, li I like his weapon. Mm -hmm. The spear. That, yeah. that that was actually a five star spear. It looks nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And he's fire. Cool. And it, and he's a maid. Yeah, and he, he's pretty cool. He um he's he's what do you call a fixer? He does a lot of things. Mm -hmm. All right. So next is Goru. He's a general. Is 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 he a captain? Uh, I think a dog. I think I mistake him for being a fox, but that's only because he has a fluffy tail. Oh. Yeah, look at that fluffy tail. Okay, gotcha. Like that, that's why I thought he was a fox, but I know, no, I think he's a, a Chevy or something like that. I don't know what that is. 
It's definitely a form of dog. Uh, yeah. But yeah, he's definitely a general. He works for Kokomi. Okay. I'm glad you told me who's a he. <sighs> No, I must stay focused. <laughs> so is he a good general? Mm, yeah, he's pretty competent. Okay. Yeah, he definitely knows how to keep his men together. And for some reason there's like some kind of eel in his little flip thingy. I don't know what that's all about. I don't know Alright, so next is Arataki Ito. The one and only Ito. <laughs> so he's a he's a hothead. Yeah. <laughs> He, he, he looks like uh, one of those sumo wrestlers, only thinner. Yeah. So he's part of a of a gang called, well, the Arataki Gang. Okay. Uh, are the horns... Uh, yeah, those are real horns. Okay. So he's an Oni, which I think it's like a, a form of demon or something like that. So so is, is the guy who is, who is, who is a demon chaser, does, does he chase him? Uh, no. I mean, okay. I, mean I, I mean, I don't think Onis are necessarily evil. But okay. you know they definitely had a history of being looked down by humans. Yeah. Well, he just he just that that he looks a little evil. He, but but he, 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 he's cool. He's cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he looks intimidating, but that's only intimidating because intimidating is a better word. That's only because well, he's an oni. Yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't mean they're necessarily evil or bad. Oh, he wears sandals. <laughs> I approve. So he likes beetle fighting. I don't know what that means. You know, beetles fighting. Little little little, little, little. insects. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, exoskeleton beetles with long horns. And he thinks he's cool, too. Like, I'm not sure if you know, like, why like why beetles, like, fight each other with their horns and see, you know, who wins to the, the mate with the, the female beetle. Oh, I got it. He also likes to play, yeah, recently he likes to play cards, PC cheat cards. Does he cheat? He does <laughs> cheat a little he has to look at and, somebody and, re and recently he, I did, had to use his deck which was which was pretty bad not really a whole lot of synergy oh don't don't use it then anyway so next yeah uh huh okay so next is Yujin this is another little girl or is she or is she more of a teenager yeah I believe she's in the teenager range okay and aside from looking cute what does she do she's an opera singer oh really mm-hmm yeah, I think soon we'll see her like little opera stick thingy. Give me a second. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you you may think she's electric, but no, she's earth. Because you can tell with the, the yellow gem on her. Very artistic. Yeah. And in in a, in a very young way. Mm-hmm. Okay. And do. do does anyone like to listen to her sing? Yeah, her she, yeah she has fans. Okay. Yes, she's very much a, a theatrical person. Mm hmm Cool. All right, so next. Uh-huh. Shenha. She works with ice. And she has a lot of curves. She, she does have a lot of curves. So, she, she, so she's actually... Uh, related to, uh, where is he? Uh, Chung Yun. Yeah, she's related to Chung Yun. I don't see it. But if you say so, okay. Yeah, uh, Shenhan. Yeah, Shenha is Chung Yun's niece. Okay. Uh, but yeah, she's, um, I guess an adeptus apprentice. Okay. And what is she going to be when she, when she gets done with her apprenticeship? Mm, don't know. I mean, she's not really too sure of her, herself because, well, she does have a, a tragic past. She was supposed to be offered to some kind of demon-like creature. Oh. N not, not by her own choice. And and Yunjin actually made an opera song out of her tragic past. <laughs> okay. But don't worry, she she does come 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 out uh, on top. Excellent. Yeah, she 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 looks like she's 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 portraying something very tragic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I believe she has like strings inside her that that ties her emotions, so that's why she looks so dead inside. Oh. All right. So next. Yeah. Okay. Yai Miko. I have no clue what she is and what she does. 
Okay, so 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 by the decoration on her head, she's not a god, is she? Uh, she's actually um, a familiar to Raiden. Familiar is that like a like a pet? Like a pet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she she actually is, I guess, a fox. Yeah, she has a fox form, but we haven't seen it. I imagine it's very cute. You know, this little pink little fox. Uh huh. D does does she fight as well? I mean, she likes to make stories of her fighting. Okay, but you've never actually seen her fight before. I'm, I'm sure she does fight in a very, um, what's the word? Don't know. I mean, she's de she's definitely a crafty character. You know, very mysteri mysterious or mischievous. Yeah, that one. Gotcha. Yeah, she likes to toy around. She likes to toy around with Goro. Yeah, she, they they don't show the her playful side on 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 this. On this bit right here. So she actually does work at a shrine. Yeah, the the, the Naro Kami shrine. Okay. What does she do there? Uh, mostly just do shrine stuff, but she also works at the light novel industry, which is like books. Okay. Almost a librarian. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think she's like chief editor. Cool. Yeah, pr pretty cool, even though she does mess around with a lot of characters. When you say mess around, what does that mean? Like... Hmm... I don't think she means to be mean about it, just like, make, making fun of them, in a way. Okay, she pulls her chain. Yeah, pulls pulls her chain, something like okay. that, yeah. Anyway, so next is Ayato. Ooh, I like him. Yeah, uh, he, again, he's related <sighs> to to Ayaka, because, well, Kamisato. Mm -hmm. so, they're br so they're brother and sister. You can probably tell because of the, of the blue. Uh huh. He's actually water though. And it goes. And again, since I don't have him, he just has a basic sword. Okay. And and. So is 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 he part of the aristocracy as well? Uh, no, the Kamisato clan. Well, he, he, yeah. He, he dresses up like an, an aristocrat. Ah. <sighs> when he's not being his mobile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's so funny. Yeah, he's definitely a, a hard worker. Yeah, hard worker. Mm hmm Yeah, he does get a lot of stuff done. Yeah, very, very high class. Okay. Right. I do love his outfit. Mm-hmm. Very, very clean and elegant. Uh-huh. All right, next is Yelan. Okay, so she she's a warrior, right? Secret agent of some sort. Oh, okay. She works for Ning Wang. Again, rich lady. Yeah. And does she have an element? Water. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Okay. I can't. I can't make out much about her other than she's there. Yeah, she's a very mysterious character. Yeah, she does like playing with her dice, seeing seeing her luck. Yeah. Okay. Again, secret agent, so she's doing a lot of things in the shadows. That I can see. Cause she, yeah, she's one of her abilities actually do let her go invisible. Because, oh yeah. Because of the whole water. Yeah. So next is Cookie, Shinobu Cookie. Another one who's sleepy. Not necessarily, but she does stretch now and then. She does wear a mask. Mm -hmm. That is the weirdest outfit ever. Yes, yeah, very what? weird. But what? that's only because she doesn't want to be recognized by, by anyone, which is kind of ironic because how many characters do you know that, that has green hair? How many characters do you know that that have whatever that is on her legs? Armor. Armor. How many? How many do you know that have has armor look like that either? Yeah, armor right here. Armor on her shoulder. Yeah. I like her design. Yeah, she's she goes, pretty cool. She goes off a ninja vibe. Yeah, she does. Uh, so, so she actually works for for Ito. But really. So, but I mean, it's kind of funny. But it's kind of funny. Like, even though Ito's the boss, she's more or less what keeps the the game together. She, she, she's kind of like the real boss. Okay. Because Ito always always get into trouble. Not always get into trouble. Mm -hmm. Always getting caught by Sara. You know, being caught, caught in jail. So if it wasn't for, for Cookie, Ito would still be in jail. Because he's always getting, getting into trouble. Yeah. So she just kind of stays in the background a little bit, just keeping everything together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So her family actually wanted her to to work for the shrine for like like Miko. But she didn't want that lifestyle. No, I can see that. It would not work for her. Yeah, I, I, I definitely relate to Cookie a lot because she's like, I don't want to do what my 
what my parent what my parents want to do. I want to do my own thing. Yep. Alright. So next is Hazo. Shikanoi Hazo. He. He. Just making sure, because you you you've come caught me out a few times already. Like I say, anyone who's brave enough to wear sandals, I think they're just perfect. They're wonderful. He's a detective. You know, like Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes. Oh yeah. So what's his element? Wind. Wind. Okay. So wh who does he Sherlock Holmes for? Yeah, a lot of things like crime, investigations, that kind of stuff. Very smart. Okay. You know, always one step ahead. And who does he work with mostly in here? Ah, uh, good question. Okay, I was just wondering. I mean, we we do help him out from time to time. All right. So next, we're gonna go to uh, the characters that are from the three point. Yeah, the the, the, the version three characters. Yeah. But now we move on what, to. What, what was what what version were we in before? Uh, two. Okay, two. Okay. And yeah, we're moving on to version three characters. Okay. Okay, so this is Kale. So she's the first of the new element, or at least an element, hmm. an element that's actually playable. Dendro, which is plant-like, you know, plants, trees, uh -huh. that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is Kale. And how does uh. how does that work as far as what she can do working with plants? How does how does that help her? How how does that work? I mean, I know some of these. I, I, yeah, some of these dendro elements are more portrayed like um, technology. Ah, okay. Some, some, some of that at least. So, so she can take material things and and change them around. Is that what I just saw? I, mean, I can like go into a whole essay of how the element system works, but that'll, this this video is already long enough. Okay, all right. Well, she's sweet. She she she's cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she she wasn't always like this. She she's she's another character that has a tragic backstory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's also friends with Amber. Okay, good. Yeah, Amber is what? Oh, what? so so just because they're in different um, di different seasons or whatever that is. Regions. Regions that, that they they can play with the people in other. Like like this is three, and she she can work with someone in region two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. small small world. Okay, all right. Uh, but yeah, but but yeah, thanks to Amber, you know, Kali has become a better person because she she was treated very poorly by the Fatui. Mm hmm. Yeah, she was pretty much used like an experiment. Hmm. Oh, that's just mean. Yeah. Well, she she looks like she came out of the experience. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she also had a an illness uh. called Elazar, which is like a, a scaly infection. Oh, that's just nasty. Yeah, but the, but the, we 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 took care of that. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah, that that infection is no more. Excellent. All right. So next is Tainari. What the heck am I looking at? Yeah, he's also a, a, an animal hybrid. He's just, and and he's wearing tennis shoes. Yeah, and I guess like a jacket. Yeah. With like little strings, yeah, you know, like a hoodie. Interesting. So, yeah, very interesting. And 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 very and modern. Is he is he part of the the earth based one too? Dendro. Dendro. I mean, I guess you could say Dendro and Earth are very similar. Okay. I guess they both come from the earth <laughs> itself. Yeah. Cool. And he, and he plays with this stuff. Yeah, oh. mostly like mushroom-based mm. stuff. Okay. Yeah, uh, Tainari, Tainari is actually Kale's teacher. Okay. So, uh, fun fact, recently he got a new voice actor change. Did it change his personality? Mm, somewhat. I mean, it definitely changed his overall mood, his overall vibe. Uh-huh. Because the, the, last, the, last, the last voice actor was more snappy and... And wisecrack, <laughs> but, this, but this one is more a lot calmer. Okay. Like I don't know if you want me to no. go go into the detail of why. No. no. Okay. It's mostly because uh, yeah. the last voice actor got in trouble. <gasps> oh. Okay. But anyway, so yeah, next is Dory. She's got really <laughs> weird glasses. <laughs> but yeah, so, so but, but yeah, these characters are actually from a region called Sumeru, Sim <laughs> so it's like. The Middle Eastern, or like, uh -huh. say, you know, Aladdin, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, like the desert and that kind of stuff. Yeah, I can see that. 
You you could see that. So so that that cloud was actually huh? like her her her, her genie. Her genie. Mm -hmm. Ta -da. Ta -da. She loves Mora, oh, which is fine. this world's currency. To like gold. I can see that. So does she have family in, in this in this? Uh, I I don't think they've ever established any okay. relatives. Okay. But she loves more, like obsessively loves more. So she's like Mr. Krabs. Okay. Yeah. And she does work in like, uh, I guess, the black market. Oh. Oh. Yeah, selling canned knowledge. So she she she's a she's a little on the black market, little little entrepreneur. Yeah. Okay. Right. So next is Candace. Ooh. Yeah, it's very inspired by Cleopatra. So is, is she a ruler in this world? Uh, no, I don't think so. What? Uh, I mean, she does protect a, a small village. Yeah, small village. Okay. So, so she she's she's a a, a local protector. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very kind, very caring, very older sister like. I like it. Oh, look at that! She's got a shield. Mm-hmm. So very high tech. Yeah. And she has different color eyes. Oh, she Heti does. Heterochromia. Uh -huh. Is that what I, don't, I don't know what it's called, but it's 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 interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's she's definitely got a beautiful design. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Right, so next, uh -huh. Sino. Sino means blue, right? Si, si, is it sign? Is that blue? I don't know. It doesn't matter. What am I looking at here? What is this? He's like a general. Why is he hiding his face? Uh, I think it's supposed to be based off of a certain animal in Egypt. Okay. I, I think it's like some kind of dog-like creature. Yeah. Anubis, maybe? Mm -hmm. Man, that, that eye. Yeah. Man, he's electric. He likes to make dad jokes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but very bad jokes. Interesting. And yeah, he's definitely a TTG player, card game player. Oh, does, does he cheat? No. Okay. I mean, I know he likes to spend a lot of money on, on cards. He's a collector. Okay, so but before a whole lot of them were warriors, these don't look like, I mean, aside from him with his spear, he doesn't look all that, I mean, none of them look all warrior-like. Yeah, that's usually a common theme. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, we're almost done. Okay. So next is Nilu. Very pretty. Ooh, yes. <gasps> She, she, she would be the princess in, in the Aladdin. <laughs> yeah, something like that. She's, she's a dancer. Oh. Is she good at it? Yeah, very good. Okay. I mean, we can see in a moment. Okay. Wait, she's water. And I do like her how her red hair pretty much contrasts the rest of her outfit. Yeah, she's pretty sweet. Yeah, very artistic. Mm -hmm. All right, next is Nahida. Another little girl. And she's she's also an elf, or at least she chose... I, I, Does she float? Well, yeah, she uses her, her dendro element to, to to summon a swing. Yeah. yeah that, that's what I meant by some, some characters uh, display their dendro as futuristic te technology yeah. hologram stuff. She looks more Celtic than... than uh... An Egyptian. Yeah, very cute. Very cute. I like it. Yeah, but yeah, pointy ears, so she, you could say she's an elf, like like Cleet. Mm hmm You had to point that out to me too, because I didn't I didn't see that to begin with. Mm -hmm. And guess what she is? Is she a god? Yes. Oh, what is this with with baby gods? I mean, it, it's not that it's not that bad. She's only five hundred years old. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which actually, she's actually. I love her eyes. Yeah, and she she's actually the newly born god because the last one sacrificed herself. Five hundred years ago. Yeah. You make it sound like it was just yesterday. To her, it probably was. Yeah. She's been cooped up in the ball because, well, her people trapped her. That's not nice. Yeah. And she's just yeah. That that, that was that was indeed heresy. Yeah. Your people trapping your own god because. You thought that your past god d died, and well, this new god was is nothing like the last one because well, they they saw her as just j j just a child. Yeah. You know, not not necessarily filled with 
with years of knowledge and, and wisdom. Does she have wisdom? Yeah, I say she has wisdom, even though she does say some kind of silly stuff. Because they've got her to where she looks like she, she could even be in diapers. <laughs> weird. Very weird. I, I mean, one, one piece of dialogue she says that's pretty cute, like, when you're out in the rain, she's like, Quick, let's find shelter or mushrooms will start growing on our heads. <laughs> <laughs> so she's she's definitely cute. I love that. Okay, so yeah, a few more characters, a few more characters. Okay. Layla. <sighs> oh, mm. <laughs> okay. Well, if she had been in season two, I would say that she was a warrior. Is she a warrior in this one? Uh, she's a, mm. I guess you could say a college student. Or the academia. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the she looks like she looks like she could be Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's very sleep deprived. How did I do it? She's always staying up, uh, you know, working on her papers because uh -huh. they give her so much. Huh. So she actually has like uh, a secondary personality that finishes up her work when she's uh, dozing off. Okay. Mm. Well, it's, it's nice to have multiple personalities. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, she's definitely a hard worker, despite, you know, her lack of sleep. Yeah. Mm. Alright. So next is Farazan. That mm. is a di that is mm. definitely a different outfit. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the bottom part's <gasps> transparent. Huh? And some pieces. Mm. Yeah. That you can actually see through. So are those thoughts we s we're seeing above her head? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say she's part of the academia as well. Okay. Well, see, that's just such a weird outfit. Does she have a story? Yeah, yeah. She she actually was trapped in a puzzle for for over a hundred years. Okay. So despite her looks, she's well over a hundred. She aged well. <laughs> yeah, that 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 puzzle definitely kept her her youth. Mm -hmm. And 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 that's that's part of why why her outfit is so different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, because she was trapped in a, a puzzle for so long, she she kind of went through, I guess, a depressive period. Mm -hmm. Because the people that she knew, you know, are are gone. Oh, that's sad. She looks like she's trying to work things out. Yeah, she she actually took her experience in that puzzle and used it to to cope. So she has kind of like this. This grandma mentality, like, what's that youngster? I can't hear you. You gotta say, <laughs> Madam Farazan. <laughs> so you could say she has a bit of an ego. Yeah. But again, I think it's just a coping mechanism. Well, after you've, after you've been locked up like that, yeah. Yeah, she's, def mm. she's definitely a good character, even if she's mm. a little full of herself. Mm. Well, she doesn't come off that way right there. Anyway, so next is Wanderer. Mm. Okay, so this is the first mm. one, I think, <laughs> that's had a name that describes what they do. Mm. Well... I mean, the thing is, he has a long story. I'm not sure you even want me to summarize it or... Summarize really quick. Okay, so he was supposed to be the prototype for the Raiden Shogun. Okay. Like a puppet. But he was discarded, and the Fatui found him. Relax. He became a Fatui <laughs> agent. <laughs> uh, he took the Electronosis, which is pretty much the thing that gives you godlike abilities. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He actually became a god for a brief moment, but we defeated him. He went off to a mission. I gotta tell you, I'm having a tough time with this defeating gods and, and gods giving up their godhood. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a long story. Yeah. You really do have to like watch like hours of cutscenes. Yeah. Okay. So, but but he was discarded, but now he's back, and is he, is he a good good person, good god, good whatever now? He's kind of all over the place. He, I mean, he's definitely a, a, a spiteful person because he had, he had he definitely had a lot of betrayals in the past. Okay. This is the first one you, you you've talked about where he was actually kind of bitter about his past. The rest of them seems to have found a way to work through it, work with it, to be a maid and not care. But he's actually he's actually reacting to his situation. Yeah, I guess you could say he's in good in a good position, but that's only because he pretty much erased his past. His, his entire existence. Okay. With the power of uh, life tree thingy that we did do a quest on. Yeah. Or at least I did a quest on. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, pre he pretty much saw his past and he betrayed him. 
and Relax. pretty much erases his past, but then <laughs> regain his memories. So you could say this version of him is a reincarnation of him. Okay. Is is he is he out to get even? I think he's just trying to find his own own life. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's trying to find himself. Got it. That, that, I do but that's why he was that, that's why he was given an an animal vision because the gods or in this case Nihita saw saw good in him or you know bless him with uh-huh. with with the power of animal. But yeah, he's definitely a comp- complicated character. Anyway, next is Yao Yao. We got another little girl, mm-hmm. and she's got a spear. Yeah, spear. Yeah, she's actually a lot more mature than she looks. She, she's got. She, she's not older. She's, she's got, not. She's got bells on her on her head. Yeah, big bells. <laughs> but, well, but yeah, she she is indeed, indeed young, but she was definitely raised raised pretty good. <laughs> okay, is that a real something or is that a, a plush toy? I think it's a plushie. Okay. Uh, Yugwe, I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, her little animal spits like radishes that heals you. Does does. She, I know her animal does, but does does she do anything? And yeah, she mostly just sends out her little rabbit to do all the spitting rashes. Okay. Well, at least she she takes care of the rabbit so that he can do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. I like her hair. Okay. Next is Al Haytham. Oh, we're back to the war-looking Wait. people. Wait. Huh? No. What is that he's got? Uh, uh we'll see in a moment. Okay. Mm, whatever. <laughs> yeah, keep in mind those keys. Yeah, I'll hate them. He's definitely a a high intelligent guy. He's got attitude. Yeah, I guess you could say he has a bit of attitude. He, yeah. he definitely has a way of looking at life. What is this he's doing? Uh, his dendro. Again, it's, it's kind of portrayed as te- technology. Got it. But yeah, he's a he's a scribe. Really? Yes. So very, very high in the academia. Wait. Like his yeah, one of his lines was like, the yeah. scribe's work is simple, which is exactly why I took the position. <laughs> <laughs> so when, when all these people you're saying are hard worker, that's not him. Yeah, I guess you could say he took a, a high standing position to slack off and read. Okay. Well, it looks like he decided to live his life his way. Mm-hmm. Few more characters. Okay. Next is the edge. This one's a bodyguard, which also has a little bit of a, a feminine side to her, even if she looks like a, a badass. Yeah, she she could take on the world. Mm-hmm. You know, beat up some punks. And then and then do her nails. Yeah. Cool. And I and I like the way that they've got her outfit with the with the dark on one side and the red on the other. Mm-hmm. De- definitely showing a little bit more skin. Yeah. <clears throat> That's only because she's usually <clears throat> out in the desert. Yeah. <clears throat> <sighs> yeah, she's a good she's a good person even though me Hoyle kind of did her dirty with her skill set what's in what way like she punches but can be canceled by jumping so not 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 necessarily the best five star dps gotcha so she she could she could definitely be better in terms of dealing out damage to her enemies there's even been like memes of just her punching over and over again. <laughs> doing, Nothing happening. Yeah, and the enemies are just sitting there just taking it because she's just so low damage. Aww. But, but, but no, she's definitely a strong and capable woman. Okay. Alright, next is Mika. He? Mika, yes, he. Okay, it's just, you, you're making me make sure now. <laughs> I, 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 I like his bow and arrow. Yes. And does he have something special going on? Uh, I guess you could say he's a reconnaissance recon person uh scan the terrain there's a lot more detectives recon in this this third group there's a, there's a lot more people who are just uh spies or what whatever you want to call he, it he's actually on the more timid side but he does look up to to eula oh, uh. yeah yeah he looks up to to her okay So, is he related to somebody in here? Yeah, he works for the the, the Knights of Avonius. Okay. So he's, he's he's working his way up the ranks. Mm-hmm. Okay. Again, yeah. again, very timid. Yeah. So he doesn't really speak a whole lot. 
Yeah, he looks like he's got to grow into his boots. <laughs> Alright, so next. Uh huh. Alright, so three more characters Kave, and wait for it. He's a pirate? No. Oh. Okay, so not, not this animation, but we'll see. But he's a, an architecture. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, he likes to make buildings. So when you say make building, he designs it and then they, yeah, yeah. they, then they yeah, come design, into being? Yeah, design buildings. Okay. Well, does he have to build oh, wait, here, them? Here it is. Uh, where's my key? Uh, oh, not again. I'll hate them. Give him back his keys. Who's got his keys? Oh, okay, gotcha. That's they're, why you they're, said they're they're actually roommates. Okay. They they get they get into each other's skin a lot. It's like an old married couple. I'm telling you he would he would make a great pirate. <laughs> I mean I know he's an architect, but he would make a great pirate. Hmm. Yeah, he's actually been in a few few instances of being in debt. Because he's always spending on like building stuff. Uh -huh. So yeah. Alright, so two more. Baiju. He is the head doctor of Boo Boo Pharmacy. Wait, wait, with, with the little zombie? Mm-hmm. And he has a snake. Yeah, Where? Uh, around his neck. Oh, so he does. Mm-hmm. So, fun fact, uh, him and the snake are like, are like joined as one. Okay. Y y you know Venom? Um, From Spider-Man? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that snake is pretty much like Venom. Okay. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know separated, they're they're kind of weak, but together they're strong. Yeah. So he he's a power to be contended with. Mm-hmm. Cool. But yeah, he's a doctor, so he knows a lot about medicine. Even though he is a bad patient when he is in in a position. Well, that's normal. Yeah. Like like, what's the old saying go? Uh, the worst patients is a doctor. And then yeah, doctors so make the worst yeah, patients. Yeah. Right. Anyway, so last but not least, Kirar. She's the, the latest character. And and what is her story? Uh, I guess you should say she's an Amazon <laughs> deliver, delivery girl. That's weird. She's, she's a cat. Hold on. Yeah, she's a cat girl. She has, oh, okay. she has two tails. And why is she why is she wearing leggings? And Those are her actual cat, cat feet. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that is so weird. Yeah, she, she likes boxes. I mean, well, she better if she's going to be a delivery person. <laughs> Not unless she's a cat. Huh, yeah. One of her abilities is actually, she, she, she's actually in a, in, a, in a box, just kind of roaming around and climbing up walls. Pretty cute. Aww. And she sounds cute. Mm-hmm. So she is, she is a new character, so we don't really know a whole, a, lot, a whole lot about her. Like, right now I'm in an event where... She's going around throughout the, the nations delivering packages. That is just too real to life. That's just too weird. All right, so cool. That's pretty much all the characters for now. Up. So is, is, are these all the characters in the universe? Or are these all the char characters? These are all the characters from version 1 through 3. Ver okay. Version 4 is coming out soon. Okay. And of course we got 5 and 6 and possibly 7. It's going to be interesting to see if they, they keep up doing the Egy Egyptian thing. Yeah, I, I, I think we're, we went through pretty much half of the characters that they're probably going to release. Okay. Well, this was excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was a good, like, hour and 30 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Sorry about that. No, nah, that's but fine. It's really cool. My, my videos are usually this long. Okay. Well, uh, but yeah. excellent. But yeah, everyone, that, that was my grandmother reacted to, well, the Genshin Impact characters. So, what do you think so far? I like them. Any, I, I, any, I, I, any I, favorites? I, 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 Let's see. Yeah, go all the way back down. Go all the way back down to the bottom. Jean. Jean? Yeah. I really like her a lot. She's still got a little girl. See her playing with her, with her ponytail. But she, she's a she's a really strong woman. I mm -hmm. like her. Anyone else? Well, keep going. Up and if I see somebody, I will I will, I will say that one. I, I, I really like that one. Ar Arketo. Ito? Yeah, just because he's... He is unique. In all of those things, he is unique. There's nobody like him. And go up a little bit more. No, I think those were my favorites. All right. Cool. Well, thank you for introducing them to me. Mm-hmm.
So yeah, uh, not sure if you want to do this again when we when we get like version four, five, and six characters. Well, we'll, we'll just do four, five, and six together. All right, but I'll probably like take a couple of years. That's okay. Because these updates are on the slow side. It's like I'll be around. 40, 40 days per version. Okay. Well, per point version, because they like have like version one point one, one point two. Mm-hmm, gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, right now we're in 3.7. Next we're gonna have 3.8, but then we're gonna go straight to 4.0. Okay, so 4.0 is com- coming pretty quick. Mm-hmm. Okay, excellent. Well, we may just do just a brief one on on fours, the fours then. Mm-hmm. Which one's your favorite? Uh, there's a lot of favorites. Uh, and you like Klee because she's my daughter. <laughs> and you like Yanfei. You know, yeah. definitely high DPS on fire. Yeah. Yoimiya, you know, very fun. Kokomi, yeah, she was a, she's definitely one of my, my favorites. I mean, I mean, you can, you can see why. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> and let's see here. Uh, yeah, yeah, Aika is also a favorite. Oh, very sweet. Uh, Nilu, yeah, also a favorite. You like the princess type. <laughs> uh, Layla. Yeah. I also do like El Hatham. Yeah. And Dia. Yeah. Uh, I also do like Cookie. I just have a problem with her hiding her face so much. And again, she doesn't want to be recognized by other people. Yeah. Except that she wears an outfit that can be recognized by anybody. But yeah, I, I do like a lot of these characters. But if I have to do say which one's my least favorite, it would have to be Kujo Sara. She's okay. a bit too serious for my liking. I mean, sure, I have warm up to her, you know, in these recent recent events. Yeah. But you know, she she's more or less, you know, pretty pretty serious general. Yeah. Well, it is kind of funny because when she turns sideways, she she's she's better endowed with the one that you were talking about that everybody was so fascinated with. Mm-hmm. That's that's why she wears the the, the covering. All right. So yeah, cool. We did good. Mm-hmm. You did good. So any uh, any final words? No, I'm I'm glad I did it. I, I'm I'm gonna be happy to do uh, the fours. Yeah, version four, five, six, and who knows how many more. Yeah. Because we we don't necessarily know how long this game's gonna gonna go for. Well, excellent. Could be could be a whole, could be a full seven, eight years. Could be twenty years. We don't know. I'll be here. I, mean, I know their uh, their other game came out back in 20, 2016. That's still going. <laughs> And this, that's, and, and this game came out. Like and yeah. this game came out originally in 2020, so about three years. Okay. Right. Good deal. Mm-hmm. Well, well, thank you for having me. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video. Take care.